Hey there everyone, this is Lucky7DX, and welcome to a random new LP that I was just- This is like one of those LPs that I just sort of sit down, and I'm like, let's just randomly do this game for shits and giggles, which is why it's like a third unofficial- Well, it's, a, it's an official LP, but it's Kirby Black Ball, which is basically, you know the game Breakout with the paddles and the blocks, and you do that, it's basically like a giant Kirby version of that, because- Because! Because that's what I want to do! So, we're going to go ahead and get started, I'll explain the game as we go. This is live commentary, this is the only reason why I want to do this, because it's like, live commentary for once. We're going to do file 2, because file 1 is for squares, and for practice files. Anyways, welcome to, um, the overworld. Basically, there's like, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stages, and then stuff and things happen as we go through about, it's like, 3 or 4, uh, stages of block ball and bosses while we do this. We also have to beat this thing called a borderline. This, um, is basically a score we're going to beat in all ten stages in order to access the final boss of the game. Which is basically the way this whole thing works. So basically, we're trying to get a really high score while we basically play Breakout with Kirby. Um, so all you really, really need to do is A button and the directional pads to control the paddle. The A button will do this little thing will make Kirby bigger. And this will also, as you can see, I'm actually uh, showed right now, makes him move to spikes for a hit. Which is kind of good because spikes mean you die and then use a li lose a life. Um, you have to get rid of all the little rectangle blocks in order to progress to the next area as uh, per most block ball sort of games. Um, those things in the middle will give you a lot of points, so uh, they're definitely worth hitting. There's actually some hidden ones over on the sides here as well. So these stages will have different layouts, obviously. Different stuff will happen. Uh, we're mostly just playing a blockout-esque sort of game. Um, enemies will give drop items. Those will also give points. So these big star blocks and enemies are very good ways of getting points, and like I said, you need to get points to get the whole borderline thing, which is basically means to get a lot of points throughout the game. Which means if I fail to get a lot of points throughout the game, I'll have to actually redo stages, which will suck, but I'll do this off camera, because that's what I do. I don't know, I'm not sure how seriously I'm taking this LP. This is just sort of me just feeling like derping around. There's another, there's a go, there's the other hidden block. Like, there's another one around here somewhere. I'm gonna need to sort of combo. As you can see, as you hit the paddle, um, if you hit the stars in the corner, you'll actually end up basically, um, going the, the exact direction you came from. So you'll end up going reverse. That's a good way to get the star blocks. If I can get, um, not be so horizontal, I want to be more vertical. So let's see if I can kind of sort of put a spin on this, get a little more vertical. I actually made myself even more horizontal. There we go. Now I can sort of combo this back and forth like this in order to get the points from this thing. And that's how you do it. Um, why am I playing this game? This is this actually surprisingly is one of my favorite games from my childhood. I remember I played this game a lot as a kid. And for sure, just for some reason, I was like, you know what? Let's do it again. Let's just play through this game again. I don't remember too much of the actual stage layouts. I'm going to practice though. This is not going to be like super... It's not going to be like Pocket Bomberman where I do it blind. But, um... I'm not going to be like extremely super familiar with the stages. I'll just sort of be kind of somewhat familiar with the stages instead. Which is going to be how it does. I'm going to do one stage per video. So this is going to be like, what, 10, 11 videos or so for this project. It's sort of a short project. That's sort of the purpose of the third LP anyway. The, th the, th the third ones. Um, I'm going to try to get this thing... No, no, no. Go back, back, back. Get the cupcake. Get the freaking cupcake! Thank you! Anyway, this stage will introduce something on this- In every uh, world, there's going to be a level- I don't know how you want to call it. Um, there's going to be- I'm just not- I'm so not used to doing live commentary. This is ridiculous. Um, but there's going to be a warp star! Oh my god, I almost died. I almost died. Um, and then if you get in the warp star, get in the warp star! Get the freaking warp star! Oh my goodness, get in the freaking warp star. Thank you, Kirby. Thank you, Kirby. You'll be able to do a bonus stage to get extra lives. Lives don't really mean too much except for the fact that you can get extra prizes for doing so. So our choices are up down, star catcher, air hockey, and up cloud. Uh, I'm gonna do my favorite one, which is air hockey, because air hockey's awesome, and I'll try to show off one of these uh bonus I'll try to show off all four of these bonuses as I should be able to. There's ten chances, four bonuses only. You should be able to do it. Anyway, this one we're basically playing air hockey with this. UFO dude. It's actually one of the UFO enemies from Kirby. You press A, you can sort of uh, make the ball go a bit faster. And then basically to beat him, uh, best of three wins. If you can get three points, you get three lives. If you don't, then you don't get three lives. You get, um, however many lives you get points of. So it's literally the... Well, it's not best of three. It's just you have three chances to get goals. Every goal you get, um, you get a life. Every And then if you don't get a goal, you don't get a life, obviously. Um, that makes sense. So I'm going to try to get three lives here. I kind of wasn't paying attention there for a moment. He's too busy explaining the rules of air hockey, but as long as you can sort of just boost it past this guy, he's not that fast. Um, so as long as you have you get the ball going like that, there you go. If you can get it going a bit horizontal and then give it a boost, you should be able to get past him pretty easily. Definitely, in my opinion, the easiest one to get three lives on. 
So, uh, three lives. Excellent. Um, we shall move on with our lives now. The cool thing is, uh, once you do this, you actually start back on the little, uh, where you're aiming Kirby thing, where he's on the panel and you're aiming him, uh, where you start off level. So you'll you pretty much, like, restart the level from where you left off. Which means, I can now easily go over here and hit this guy. Boink! And now let's see if I can just... Uh, ah, no, no, okay, I might miss this one, actually. Oh, no, I can get it. Cupcake! Hooray! Um, if you don't, if you miss those, don't worry. You do have a bit of leeway for getting the butter thing, so you don't have to get everything. There are a few key things you really want to try to get, though. Well, usually just one key thing. Also, by the way, those darker blocks, they'll take extra hits, unless you're big, giant Kirby, in which case they won't take extra hits because, well, you know, you'll actually kill them in one hit. Which means you get less points overall, but it's a little faster, so I really don't care. We're just gonna try to get through this whole thing and do more block ball shenanigans. Because that's what we do. We do block ball shenanigans in this LP. Why? Because we can. Anyway, the little star thing. That's gonna be the key for- That's really gonna be where I'm gonna probably screw up getting these border lines a lot. Or the- Yeah, the border lines. Because these things are also these big blocks. They break up to four smaller blocks later, which can be a pain for this one. Um, clear the left part first. You're gonna see why when we actually hit that star thing. Because things, that's where things are going to get a little crazy. A little cuckoo shenanigans, actually. Um, because what's gonna happen is it's gonna turn all the blocks to a different color, and you have to collect all the blocks that you'll basically make all the blocks so you can hit them in one hit with, and you'll actually go straight through them as well. Um, and you have to collect all the blocks within 30 seconds to get a massive bonus. If you don't, if you feel like the bonus though, this bonus is pretty much the key to getting the borderline because it gives you a ton of points, and there's really no way you can do, get the borderline without completing those points. So. In general, you want to, I'm going to just try to get rid of the left uh, part first, just because these small blocks, they can really turn it into a giant pain in terms of getting the thing. Get out of here! No, I don't want to get the thing yet! Nope, come on, I want to get the stuff on the left first, thank you. Alright, get the, everything on the left, or, or we can just keep making a lot of small blocks, which is where this could end up being a huge pain in the ass. I really want to get this first borderline, I don't want to start the, the game off screwing this up, that would kind of suck. Can I get that one last little block? It's going to be kind of a pain in the ass. We get... No, no, no. Get that last little block. Don't hit the thing. I'm going to hit the thing, aren't I? No? Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Are we safe? I don't know! Okay, get hit the thing. Just... No, hit it. Please. Oh, goodness, this is bad. Okay, let's see if I can just angle it backwards. No. It's going to hit it. Okay, so now I'm going to have to get one on that side. And that makes it a little harder. Um, But hopefully we can do this. Oh, boy. Okay, um... So, best, your best bet is to really use the uh, Kirby because, the big Kirby, because it makes it so, um, you're obviously a bigger target, so you can get things a lot easier. I think I should be able to get this. Oh, come on, there's one left. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, come on. Get it! There we go. Sort of angle it over there like a pro. I know how to play this game. Alright, 17 blocks. So you get 500 points per block and 500 points per time remaining. So if you can just, like, leave a couple blocks and then just get them like right away. You can also get a pretty good score like that too, but as you see, big score. Anyway, so after three stages, you get to do these, um, basically you get a preview of your boss, because every stage is going to have a boss, and you, it's going to be based off of Kirby Emmy. So we have the little mushroom dudes, whose name I don't remember off the top of my head, but before you get those guys, try to hit all the star blocks before, um, if you hit those guys, if you hit that guy four times, the, the warp start to the boss will appear. That's, I just hit him once there. I'm gonna hit him again here, aren't I? Yeah, I want to try to get this star, these star things first. Ah, get away from him. Okay, I'm gonna stay away from him because I do not want my. I want to get all these stars because um, they'll help you in the boss fight actually if you get everything. Plus, they'll give you a life. Ah, I'm, okay, the warp star is gonna appear as long as I don't go in between those blocks. Though I can still collect these things and be fine. Which it looks like I shouldn't have any problem doing this because that's gonna get the last one right here. Yep. Okay, and then these one, these blocks, actually, you can destroy them with your big Kirby. They're worth 500 points. Kind of worth getting, but I missed one. Not a big deal. You get a life for that as well. Lives will turn to points at the end of the round, which is also pretty cool. But here we go, guys. It's the first boss fight of Kirby. Block ball. Giant mushroom thing. Um, up and down will control the side um, platforms, and obviously left and right will control the platforms here. Um, avoid him because he will, if he does hit your platform wall, I'm sure I'll show it at some point, but if he runs into your platform, he's actually going to, um, not stun it, but he's going to, I'll show you right now. He makes it smaller, which is kind of annoying. Um, you can't also do your, your big Kirby thing. Not that it makes a difference, it just makes you a bigger ball to hit him with. Um, otherwise, just keep smacking him. He's a pretty simple boss. I mean, he's only the first boss, so you wouldn't expect him to be too hard. Some of these later bosses can be a bit tedious. The star things that cover the spikes, they'll actually give Grant Kirby a, a layer of protection as you're fighting him. 
Um, so you can hit a, a, a star block, it'll actually make the star block disappear, and then the spikes will appear behind it. So if you can get all the stars from the previous area, you'll have a full cover and you won't have any risk of being hit by spikes right away, which is pretty cool. Anyway, we're just going to keep, um, basically kill the real one, his, not his little puppet buddies. Well, okay, they're all dead anyway. I'm going to kill you, you freaking mushroom freak. Bam! I just, I don't know, I like this game because you're just smacking people with giant Kirby balls. And I'm okay with that. So that's actually the first level right there. Pretty simple and easy. Um, I mean, other stages will take us longer for sure. Uh, this was even close to my top score. Um, the borderline will end up being the top score most of the time. Unless you already have a higher score, which I already do, as you see, because I've gone through this a few times just to practice. Um, but we got the borderline for that one. The borderline was only 120,000. We got 132,000. So as you see, we have about 12,000 gap. Um, that bonus we got was probably worth about... Like six or seven thousand, so I don't, uh, maybe we could have made it without, without the, uh, the the borderline. I don't know. It's it it really does help you secure it though. I got better than my um. I got second place at least. I got a higher score before. Not sure what I did better there before. That's just, well, how much? Like an extra thousand something? Whatever. Um, as you see, I've been signing myself as all seven DX because that's what I do. That's the high score, and that's stage one, guys. So um, I'm just gonna be doing this for like ten stages, and then it's gonna be an LP. And, yeah, that's my plan, I suppose. Um, so, I don't know, hopefully you like this kind of thing. Kind of a bit of a weird, just random thing. I was just like, I'm going to sit down and make an LP of Kirby Black Ball. Why not? And that's what, and that's all she wrote. So, uh, this is Lucky70X signing out. I'll see you guys next time for the next episode of Kirby Black Ball. Bye-bye, guys.